Good afternoon, and welcome to IHA's Webinar Wednesday with one of our IHA members' experticity. Our presenter today, Patrick Duke Rosati, Senior Sales Manager of Housewares with Experticity, will be our presenter. Patrick has lengthy account, of man account management sales and startup experience in several industries and has recently been tasked with opening the housewares market with experticity. Ladies and gentlemen, with all what it gives me great honor to announce Patrick. So thank you, Ginny, and thank you everyone else for attending today. We're really excited about entering the housewares market and uh, helping a lot of housewares brands sell more product. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. So guys, retail has a problem, and it's not what most people think today. Today we're going to talk about this problem and how it is leading to a renaissance in retail sales expertise. I'm then going to present the findings of our 2013 Retail Buying Experience Survey, and finally provide some advice on how brands and retailers can tackle the problems I've laid out in a way that boosts sales and profits. So let's jump right in. For more than a decade, success at retail has been defined by three factors, low price, self-service, and selection. But now, there's a paradigm shift. Competing price is no longer a winning strategy. Both you and I know if we want the lowest price, we're going to go to Walmart or Amazon. In addition, while self-service and selection have improved across most retailers, the quality and service of retail sales associates has suffered. Knowledgeable associates have effectively been flushed out of the system. So I know you're probably thinking, well, why does this matter? The internet has an infinite amount of information, and that is true. But too much information is barely more helpful than no information at all. 400 reviews with an average of 3.5 stars is not helpful. The first one might say, this is awesome, five stars. Well, the next one says, this is terrible, one star. Not all information is created equal. Today, consumers are asking themselves, what information should I pay attention to? or what's the right guidance or product for me. Today, consumers don't start their buying experience by asking how much does it cost. They start the experience with what should I buy. For the next decade and beyond, price will not be a meaningful differentiator in retail. Consumers want wisdom. That's right. Brands and retailers that don't do a great job of helping consumers make purchases that delight will become irrelevant. Excuse me, Patrick? Yes. We have a question. Can you elaborate on what you mean by expertise void? Are you saying that the consumer or retailer is lacking in expertise? That's a great question, and I'm actually going to touch on this a bit more later. Um, but a good example would be that we know that 75% of consumers are unsure when they walk in to make a purchase at a store. And we also know that they're not happy with the sales associate's information when, when they're giving it to them. Uh, so the expertise void is the sales associate at the store. But again, I'll, I'll touch on that more in a little bit. So I'm sure everyone recognizes these retailers. And I would imagine that's because you've gone there and experienced great service. Brands and retailers that thrive in the days ahead are going to be the ones that deliver great buying experiences. For the first time, we're getting tools to identify people with real category expertise, to build expertise in ways that are scalable, to track who's engaging and becoming more helpful and more knowledgeable, and you tie expertise back to results that actually matter. What was hard or impossible just a decade ago is now becoming really a key to success. Empowered, knowledgeable sales associates shape customers' experiences in the store, on the street, and online. Retail successes like the ones you see here, the Apples, the Lululemons, REI, have adapted this newest strategy. Their sales associates have real knowledge and a passion for a category. They live it. They love it every day. This significantly impacts consumers' buying decisions, and brand knowledge is needed to create profitable buying experiences. Successful brands and retailers will differentiate themselves and be defined by the quality of their customer assisting staff and training initiatives. 
So to further understand how retail was doing at providing expertise at the point of sale, we feel that a major survey this fall on the topic of retail buying experience. We asked questions such as the ones you see here. What do consumers want from retail sales associates? What do retail sales associates actually provide? And which retail brands are doing the best job? I'm going to discuss all of these findings in more detail, but at a high level, we found that there's a gap between what consumers want at retail in terms of product and category expertise and what they're actually getting. First off, consumers crave and more so expect expertise from their retail sales associates. In fact, our survey found that the top four things consumers want from retail sales associates are product knowledge, help selecting the right product, category knowledge, and then help finding the best alternative when what the consumer wants is not available. At the same time, we conducted a focus group, and we heard a lot about this. Stories about, say, a great salesperson they knew who could provide expertise and in general how important that was to them. One attendee was quoted as saying, I've come to respect one particular salesperson. She always knows whether a product is going to work for me or not. So the next obvious question is, are retail sales associates coming through? And the answer is not as much as consumers would like, as it turns out. In fact, a third to nearly half found that retail sales associates are less than helpful when it comes to getting people educated on products. Another focus group attendee said, they don't know a lot about the product because they haven't had the proper training. So the next obvious question is, OK, if retail sales associates are not coming through, where are consumers going if they, to get this information? Without smart, knowledgeable associates, they're left to fend for themselves, and they go to a variety of sources. This is the top four uh, that the survey that they said on the survey. The first is experts. Now, mind you, this isn't necessarily what you and I would call an expert. This is someone they perceive to be an expert. It could just be their cousin Ernie, who is a self-proclaimed expert in consumer electronics. They might also turn to the internet, search online, but then they have to navigate the millions of hits that a Google search turns up. Next, they said they were using online user reviews. But then, like an online search, they have to sift through thousands of reviews and decide which are helpful and which are not. Lastly, they would go to traditional magazine reviews and articles. Now, if they were able to find one that was up to date and on the subject that they were wanted, this could be helpful. But that, again, is hard to do. Our focus group attendees highlighted the frustrations they experienced with all of these, all of these methods finding expertise. To sum up their view, the glut of data available online to have more information overload than enlightenment. So guys, I can't stress enough that what consumers want is going to be helpful expertise. For the next decade and beyond, price is not going to be a meaningful differentiator in retail. You and I can stand anywhere and check the price of any item at hundreds of outlets. Brands and retailers that don't do a great job of helping consumers make decisions that delight are going to become irrelevant. So all of this is leading to a, a renaissance in retail sales expertise. And of course, you're saying, OK, this is all great, but is this worth it for us to invest in? Providing expertise in, at retail increases conversion in many ways. For example, we know that 30% more engagement leads to a 50% increase in conversion. And by way of example, Amazon's conversion rate is just 4%. In this case, conversion is simply someone who walked into a brick and mortar store and walked out with a product that they purchased at that store. We also know that 75% of customers offered will buy additional item if, if they talk to someone knowledgeable at the point of sale and that this increases average order value by as much as 25%. So I've been talking a lot about the customer, but it's not just about them. Training also enables sales associates to provide expert guidance that improves their morale and causes them to stick around longer. We know that 54% of retailers say training is a key tactic in, re in reducing turnover, and that sales associates report two times higher job satisfaction if they can meet a customer's needs. So ultimately, all of these factors lead to more loyal customers, which directly leads to higher sales and more profit. 70% of all purchases come from returning customers, and the top three drivers of customer loyalty are customer service, product availability, and store experience, all of which we touched on today. So 
You're saying, what are the results now, I'm sure? What, what does this actually do for you? Well, we know that engagement drives sales. Uh, in a survey we conducted, sales of one brand increased 200% with a focused effort on making all associates more knowledgeable. Another brand with a focused effort on training was able to increase sales associates' productivity three times. And in the same sample set, the top 10% of sales associates' sales increased 17 times meaning they were 17 times more productive in their hours worked, and they trained eight times as much. So you can see the direct correlation from training to sales. Patrick, uh, we have a question. Okay. Where did you find these numbers, meaning what retailers and brands contributed to this study? Thank you. So that's a, a, a great question. Um, I cannot disclose uh, the exact retailers and brands, but I will say that it is one of our major retail partners, uh, major retail department store, and also uh, some large brands, two of them, that they sell and those retailers that also partnered up with us. So all of this leads me to Experticity. We were founded in 2005 to help bring expertise to retail. We've obviously hit a nerve in the industry with our efforts now helping to transform over 600 brands, 57,000 retailers, and 1.4 million experts. And at Experticity, we define an expert simply as any member of our audience that uses our platforms. This could be a rep, a retail sales associate, or really anyone else who can influence a purchase decision. Basically, anyone whose opinions matter in commerce. Patrick, we have a question. Uh-huh. How do you sell online if associates are one of the keys to increase sales? So that's a good, we have, I'm going to touch on that again in a second, but as part of Incentive for Training, we host a store. So after a, manu, after a retail sales associate goes through training uh, and successfully completes a quiz at the end of the modules or chapters of content, they have the option to go in and purchase product at a discount. And we actually uh, handle all the credit card processing for that, but then the manufacturer or brand actually fulfills that product and ships it directly to that retailer. Thank you. That's all we have right now. Okay. So at Experticity, we specialize in training and engaging retail sales associates by streamlining detailed manufacturer, manufacturer product knowledge and allowing brands to reward expertise with incentives, like I just talked about. Our members build a personal profile that mirrors our success, and brands and retailers have detailed and reporting analytics to allow insight to under who understands their product the most. So you have complete visibility into your platform. This ends up being an ideal situation for brands, retailers, retail employees, and at the end of the day, your customers. So this yes, is an another question. Go ahead. Does each person who signs up with Experticity get their own profile? And are they able to compare themselves against coworkers and peers? Yes, that's another good question. Every person that signs up on our 3.5 platform does get a customer profile. That is what is showed here on this slide on the right side. So this profile is all managed by what we call an expert score. And an expert score increases as each retail sales associate takes more trainings. Um, they can then go in and look at how they rank compared to everyone else at their retailer or all their other coworkers based on that expert score. So that also creates competition and you know, incentivizes or stimulates people to take more trainings. Okay, thank you. That's all we have for now. Okay. So this is an example of a home page of one of our brand partners, Turbis, on our 3.5 platform. Uh, the bottom half, which here is cut off to fit on the slide, shows the top performing sales associates, current brand product news and information, which we can update as often as you'd like, and contests to help incentivize people to train. Trainees can then select the brand or product tab here that takes them to a chapter or what we call a module of content. At the end of each module of content is an edu game or a quiz. 
This is what I talk about, that they must complete at least four out of six correctly to receive that incentive discount. The incentive is usually uh, a discount on that manufacturer's products, but we can also do things like gratis product or giveaways, uh, you know, maybe a deeper discount to that, those who complete the training the fastest, and we're, we're just really dynamic in what we can do uh, to incentivize people to get training. So Strivectin is a great example of one of our brand partners that's done very well. Uh, they have started from a retail audience of zero and have now trained more than 10,000 sales associates on their product line. Uh, they built brand enthusiasm through engaging and training modules and gratis programs. So they actually give product away once a retail sales associate uh, completes the training. They've moved all of their product training materials online for streamlined messaging and updating. And they've also created a resource library that includes educational videos and printed training materials so that uh, sales associates can use them as on-the-floor selling aids. Another great example of a brand partner of ours is GoPro. GoPro has trained over 41,000 associates in just 18 months, and this has created a new sort of pro shop channel. Now, this pro shop channel means that of those 41,000 associates who've trained, a good percentage, I believe in their case, it's something like 30% have actually purchased GoPro products. So it sees the products in the hands of those people that are having these conversations daily, and they can really speak to it from a real life, real time example. This has empowered thousands of new brand ambassadors, and they can share their knowledge and product experience with the customers. So guys, that's really all we have today to sort of sum everything up. You know, retail has a problem, and that problem is that there is a lack of expertise on the sales floor that consumers want and demand. Uh, there is a renaissance in retail today in that the price wars are over, brands and retailers that don't do a great job of helping consumers make purchase decisions that delight are going to become irrelevant. This problem, however, can easily be fixed because there are many tools to streamline and scale product education efforts and experticity can help provide them. So again, thank you everyone and uh, I'm going to open up the floor now to questions. I hope we have some. Uh, Patrick, we have a question. Will the Will the survey and recording of the presentation be provided? We will certainly, um, I take an answer to that. And the, this webinar will be on our website at www.housewares.org in our Knowledge Center. And we have uh, another question uh, for you. Patrick, in regards to the GoPro case study, how do you decide which retail employees get to train on specific products. Does everyone get to train on GoPro? So another good question, no, not everyone gets to train on GoPro. Only retailers that actually carry and sell GoPro products can train. So for example, um, let's use a beauty example, the Strivectin. If you work at an REI or another sporting good retailer, you're not going to be able to see or train on those Strivectin products. Uh, so it's the people who are actually going to be selling the product uh, that can train on the different brands. Any other questions, Jane? Um, that's all we have at this point. Um, so if anyone else has any questions, uh, feel free to email Patrick at patrick.duke dash Rosati at experticity.com or give them a call. Once again, I'd like to thank uh, Patrick and Experticity for taking the time and thank you all for joining us today. And once again, if you would like to refer back to this webinar or send it on to others um, that may be helpful to them, please go to our website at www.housewares.org and it is in our Knowledge Center. And thank you all again, and uh, have a great day. And thank you, Jenny.